Okay, we're gonna we are going to work an artwork based on the artwork of Odile Odita. He was the he is the artist who is of Nigerian descent. He would draw until he would fall asleep. He was so, so dedicated to his artwork. Now remember he did instas installation art, large scale projects on canvas and plexiglass and sometimes on walls. We're not going to draw on any walls, we're going to draw on paper. So, I said earlier we would need a ruler or a straight edge. Anything that will help you to draw a straight line will work. It does not have to be a ruler. It could be the side of a box, it could be the side of your journal, the side of your crayon box, anything that you have that will help you to draw a straight line. So, let's get started. Here's my finished sample, but we're going to get started. Now, you are going to use pencil, but pencil doesn't show up so well in video. So, I'm going to use a sharpie. I'm just going to start with a few straight lines in different directions. Just using the edge of my ruler so I know that they're, they are straight. has the best sharpie in the world. It's starting to dry out, but that's okay. And I'm just going to continue to draw straight lines. Now, I like the straight lines. In some of his artwork, he did zigzag. You can do that, too. But there's something that I really like about all of his straight lines. They feel like a road map to me. They want me to go on a trip. So using your straight edge or your ruler, you're going to draw the lines that you're going to later fill in with lots of bright colors. You noticed in the video of his installation work, his workers, his artisans, the people that help him with the big installation, they were using painter's tape to make sure their lines were nice and straight. And then they would remove the tape after they were finished. And then other artists would go in with tiny, tiny paintbrushes to make sure that none of the spaces were missed. It's a lot of hard work to get those big, giant pieces done. Okay, so you kind of understand what we're doing here. We're going to fill the space up with lines. Once you have all your lines in place, then you're going to go back and fill in each line with a different bright color. Now, after spending all this time working on your line design, would it make sense to just scribble all over your paper? No, you want to really take your time and color in each stripe a different color. Okay? So you want to practice in your art book first so that you have a plan. You're like an architect. You're going to sketch out your drawing, sketch out your house before you go to Lowe's and buy material, right? And once you have your plan, then you know how many doors to buy, how many toilets you need, you just don't rush into Lowe's without a plan. So you're going to plan it out in your art journal first. Then you're going to go into the store and buy what you need. So here's your, your blueprint or your plan. Once it's all finished, then you're going to add your color. And it's going to be nice and bright. I happen to like Mr. Sketch Markers because they're super bright. But whatever you have at home, crayons, markers, colored pencils, it's up to you. When you're all done, sit, submit to Canvas. Can't wait to see him.